Okay, so it's um, week four. This is lecture seven. And before we get into the course content, I was just uh, telling a few students here that um, I am now, um, well, the, the University of Montana Law Library is being remodeled. And a lot of the old books uh, were, were taken out. It's something like um, 22,000 volumes. 35 tons or so. I've got this. I got them stored in two storage containers across town. Um, I've sold a few on eBay, but the plan is to um, uh, turn them into uh, Roman-style arches inside the building. So uh, let me just let me just show you what um, what's what's going on with this. So I've got a um, uh, a colleague. So. These are kind of what the books look like right now. Some of them are, like I said, 130 years old, leather bound. They were going to the landfill. The uh, law librarian says, well, maybe that's not the best place for them. Um, I sold a few on eBay to a local attorney who just said, hey, I want to put these in my library and look, look smart. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I, I sold some of them just, you know, as books. They're decorative. Um, this is a, just a shot of what they, they look like, so I've got these at my house. I don't have, unfortunately, a, a, um, a shot of, of Isaac's um, sketches, so I'll, I'll do my best to, to butcher that. But basically what he's, what he's looking at is a big wall, and I don't, I don't think this wall actually passes through. I don't think it has any doorways in it, but what he's looking to do is come up with a series of uh, columns. So we'll have, and I'll just draw uh, a few of these guys. And so you might, they'll, they'll be, um, you know, like, yay, hi, here's a, here's a person. Um, and a few sort of blocks. So just imagine each one of these as being uh, books. Reinforced, and he's, he's working on a, on a strategy for reinforcing them with, uh, with some kind of steel but the books themselves will sort of form the, the artwork. And then coming through and just making these um, circular arches. Um, eight, so this, this thing uh, times eight, and the entire thing is uh, 60 feet long. So we did the math on it, and there's going to be something like 4,000 of the 22,000 books used. So what Stacy and Isaac are doing right now, and I said, if you want me to um, join the conversation, I'd be happy to. But what Stacy's going through right now is a, uh, okay, so there it is. The, the city of Missoula has a public art committee, and she is showing them uh, some of the things that old library books have been repurposed for. So, you know, pretty simple lamp. I guess this is going a little... Hang on, let me see here. I'll just go through it this way so I can go a little slower. But, uh, you know, just something you'd put on your desk. Um, this one's a little more intricate. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of these are just pages from the book. Um, I think that's the Grim Reaper uh, <laughs> coming, coming for somebody there. Uh, this is super intricate. I'm not exactly how, you know, how this was done, but someone's gone and actually carved out. I don't know if this was laser machined or, or what, but uh, kind of a neat structure of an individual book uh, cross-section. Um, this one I'm not too familiar with, but I'm, I'm going to assume that most of this is also just made from the paper inside the books. Kind of artsy, um, hanging from the ceiling, with some backlighting. And again, this is you know art, artistic, no real structural uh, purpose. Um, so again, you you could sort of envision this being in a in a children's section in a library. Um, again, I think she just grabbed most of these uh, most of these online. What I'm doing right now, by the way, is killing white space. Uh, if you remember last week, I was grading some of your homework and saying, use the whole sheet of paper. You know, no reason to, you know, have crowd your, your so I'm, I'm doing that on Stacy's behalf. I'm just sort of showing that you can take these guys and 
blow them up a little bit more. So again, kind of artsy. Um, another example against the against the wall. What we're after, though, is um, and these are these are pretty intense. But we're after something like this. He's also, in addition to the arches, he's just going to build some, some desks. You know, pretty simple, not going anywhere, structurally sound. Um, here's an entire library desk just made out of books. Chair. Might be, you know, might be kind of fun to, uh, to play around with. In your own sketches and ideas. Uh, a bed. I'm going to assume all those are glued together. Otherwise, yeah, uh, <laughs> avalanche. Uh, there's kind of some, some art there. In fact, these are the same Northwestern Reporter books that we, we currently have, uh, book structures. So this is a little more of the scale that we're after with the, with the law library. So arches, domes, hallways. House, good, again, it's like a neat little reading structure inside a library. Fort. In terms of weatherproofing, I don't know what they did here, but, you know, you'd obviously need some way to keep the, uh, the bugs from eating this and the, and the rain from mildewing it. Uh, this is sort of, uh, sort of what we're after, but not quite. Um, and in, and in terms of pulling something like this off, I mean, you, you would want to do some structural analysis. You, you would want to do some, uh, some force analysis before attempting this. Again, another cool little structure for uh, public space. Kids can come in and play. Castle. This is, this is a little closer to what we're planning, where the, where the books are actually in, a, um, in an archway. Um, I don't know exactly how these guys managed to splay the, the books, but one thing we're planning on doing is just putting some little shims in there, or you could imagine even just folding some of the pages so that the book uh, transforms from a rectangular cross section into more of a wedge. There's another one with a little bit of uh, space in between. It's just stunning. So here's where they are now. Um, sitting over across town in two storage containers. And like I said, I've, I've been able to sell a few on eBay. So, um, but you're welcome. If you've got a, if you get a contract somewhere to do some indoor design, I know a lot of you are talking about architecture. Here's your chance. Uh, cheap building materials. So, seriously, you know, let, let me know if, 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 um, you got somebody that might be interested in it. Um, I've got, like I said, I'm going to use about 4,000 of them. I sold 200, and I've got, um, well, about 17,800 to go. So. <laughs> it's really to, like, sound deadening. Yep, I could see that for, for uh, acoustics. Um, yeah. <laughs> or, or, like just interior walls, yeah. I've even thought, you know, not not a bad insulator too, just thermal thermal insulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Okay, well that's it for that little chunk. I'll I'll uh, stop.